Now the first alert forecast with meteorologist Charlene Malin. And despite seeing a little bit of rain and a little bit of snow earlier, pinpoint Doppler radar now shows a clean sky, at least across here in eastern Iowa. It doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to stay that way. In fact, we could be seeing another chance for some very isolated wintry mix that happens overnight. Our Williamsburg City Cam right now shows a very quiet sky out there. In fact, getting in some last minute sunshine. This is mainly across the southeastern corner of the state. Most areas seeing a mostly cloudy sky. As far as the temperatures go, 44 degrees right now in Cedar Rapids, 42 in Waterloo, 38 is one of the cooler spots toward Dubuque, 46 in Williamsburg as well as Iowa City, Monticello at 45 degrees. Visibilities have dropped slightly in some areas, just showing a little bit of moisture in the air, causing a bit of a haze, nothing to really impair driving, but could set up for some very patchy fog overnight. Here's our low pressure center moving just to the south of us. Most of the rain and the snow stays off to the north across areas of Minnesota and Wisconsin, leaving us primarily dry, although a couple isolated areas of wintry mix are possible overnight. Satellite and radar are wider view of what the system looks like right now. You see that mass of snow across mainly central Minnesota could get clipped across our far northeastern communities with some of that snow, but not really looking at anything in the way of accumulation. We'll zoom in across eastern Iowa starting the clock at 7 p.m. this evening. Pinpoint Futurecast shows a couple of those isolated snow showers could also see some wintry mix by early Saturday morning, tapering off into just a few flurries to start off the day. Not really looking at anything in the way of accumulation, but could set up for a few slick spots here and there throughout uh, early Saturday morning. Saturday afternoon, keeping those clouds on us, mostly cloudy really all the way through the weekend, but some good news is that it's also a dry weekend ahead, so the Sapodaposo Parade, bring the jackets, just don't need the umbrellas. Your first alert forecast overnight, mid to upper 20s expected, that rain and snow mix is possible, but again, not much in the way of accumulation, just watch out for a few slick spots tomorrow morning. Afternoon highs, once again, split some low 30s across our northern communities, low 40s down toward the Washington area. We'll see a few flurries early on, but then in general, a mostly cloudy sky. And as we head towards St. Paddy's Day, we are going to be seeing, again, those cool temperatures stick with us right around 37 degrees by the afternoon. Couple peaks of sunshine here or there, but that's about it. We do get more sunshine in the middle of next week, but also another dose of rain snow mix mm. that heads in on Monday. Could see a little bit of accumulation, although it's still a bit too early to call that one. Right. You two are all ready for a St. Patrick's Day. No, you really yeah. are. You're not. Really? I'm not. I'm mm. waiting until Sunday. This is Sunday you'd get pinched. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Thank you, Charlene. Well, coming up tonight on KCRG TV9 News at 6, a couple pulled over for speeding in Iowa City had a real he reason to hurry. TV9 first showed you this video of the officer helping deliver a baby from that car. Well, tonight we talked to mom and dad about that traffic stop delivery as they meet the officer for the first time since it happened. 